Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're playing King Arthur the role-playing war game. And we're a bit in of a, in a bit of a situation as we are lacking some food here. We might have the possibility to go for her. Lady Pridwin and try to save her. But I was thinking about taking this general. And marching over way. here to to the door, but maybe we'll wait. Now let's wait a bit, and I think we will transfer the troops because this army is definitely tougher, right? Yeah, overall, so I'm going to keep him in this region. There's a 50% chance that we will get a trade-related quest, which would definitely need, yes, as we're missing sir. a lot of food. We're in a bad situation overall. And I'm trying to to see what we could do uh, going forward. Yes, my liege. Uh, I was also thinking about maybe canceling some recruitment, but we can't do that. So let's wait another turn. Our soldiers are yes, hungry. My king. Yes, my king. And that is a bit of a problem overall, but maybe we can exchange some of these army. Let's see, no new quest. We'll have to wait. Winter is coming, we'll get our food back. And everybody will be happy. There it is. The Saxon Chieftain's Rebellion. King Redwald is considered to be the most powerful chieftain among the Saxon. But after he gave in to the bishop's pressure and knelt down before you, two of the most powerful chieftains have rebelled against your rule. It is fortunate, however, that the stronghold of Norfolk did not fall into enemy hands, and that these two new self-proclaimed pretenders to the throne hate each other just as much as they hate you. This might give you enough time to crush them separately before they have a chance to form an alliance and join forces against you. So, here we have two different factions with two very distinct armies we do we have apparently we do have some forces inside our castle let's see upgrade has been completed i think it would be a good idea to go over here right get the taxes the merchant guilds and the taxes and that's all the money i'm gonna be spending there we got over here the Bastard Awakening. Okay, another battle. Hmm. Do I want to construct anything here? I mean, there would be a few good options as far as buildings go. But we can't really invest in anything. We need the money, we need the food as well. Uh, let's try to see this third castle in Norfolk. What does it have? Well, it has pretty much everything a keep needs. Except for a lord. Hmm. Who should I give this region to? would be a good idea to does it have any problems this a bit on the public safety and a bit on the military but the region is christian under saxon so if i'm going to go over to the round table and i'm gonna check these guys out this guy is a healer and he's precise so health and food just free loyalty and minus 25 recruitment cost but that guy is heal cool healer dutiful cunning and a brave heart okay benevolent meaning more recruitment costs but more food tristran route leader relentless plus 50 tax precise the glorious leader and she is benign 
and another 25 so that's a 75 percent tax increase we'll definitely take that on units leveled up with you i guess we should start reducing the costs we have enough problems as it is and then we're going to continue adding to his armor And probably cleave, right? With King Mark. I could do a few things, but I'm guessing blast. Continuing with the blast would be a good idea. Give our heavy units some attack. Give our light units some defenses. And also to our archers. Let's see, these guys. Only a skill point overall, and that's from the building. Sanctuary could be good. Cloud of Arrows could be useful as well. I guess healing is one of those spells we don't have in this army. With you, I'm gonna pick some magic. And what are we going to do afterwards? The enemy spells have no effect on the target unit. More effective destructive spells. Or we could go with this, 30% chance that the enemy attack spell will fail. And this is a battlefield word. Might be working. Mm. Sheed lore, what is this? So plus 20 to all positive effects of the woodland terrain types and minus 20 to all negative effects of the woodland rain type for the hero's unit. Or for the whole army, if the hero is the leader. Well, he's not the leader, so this will not really work. I could get more mana at this point. And with you, we're going to increase your attack. And getting either... I think attack, speed and magic damage is good. Archery, recruitment complete, new region, and we have two rebellions. We'll definitely have to use these guys together. As far as new traits go, we did we gain anything? Nothing yet. We're very close to have family blessings. A bit of a holy war, filling up the ranks of soldiers is 20% cheaper, which is great, and prosperity, meaning 10% more gold income. I don't see anything else that would add to us food. Let's take a look at our economy. As far as economy goes, what do we have? Insurgales? Our loyalty is going up now. This region doesn't have enough military, that is fine. We would need some more food, they say. How about we go with something like this? Could even increase the taxes for a year. Maybe I will do that. On the income, yeah, we're doing pretty fine now. Right to stop goods, urban asylum. Mm, no, okay. Well, that is about it. Register. We're gonna keep the money. Mostly because keeping the money doesn't say a whole lot. Yes, my lord. Right? We will need to, to go and re-recruit some troops. I mean, some of our armies. Let's end the turn here. Yes, my lord. Okay. And then yes, I am bringing you here. And we're going to move some troops around. Give you these. The level of the new unit is the average level of the two original units, but you can spend gold and food to quickly train up the lower level one. The more soldiers were in the experience unit, the less the training cost will be. Mm, so I can do a bit of a keep level. That is not a huge cost. Okay. 
I mean, I didn't think that that was the situation with this. Okay. Let's see. Keep level. Huh. Okay. I like that. What else are we going to do? Sir Percival? Yeah, we don't need all of the heroes. I am going to take the archers, however. Saxon Riders will ha keep these units. I am going to take the Crusaders next. And finally... I guess I'll bring another heavy unit. And then the Sangreal Knights. Yeah, that should be okay for now. Now these guys, I think they should fight between each yes, other for a while. Okay, you are almost done recruiting troops here. Okay, you please go here. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna bring this guy in the keep. Yes, my lord. Mm, maybe I'll run you away somewhere. Slowly replenish units. I think that is worth doing. Ready to serve. Ready to serve. Ready to serve. Yes, my lord. With these units, I think we had yeah we had points to level them up, but I didn't do it yet. What do we have here? We have enough Cav, Huskarls, and Longbowmen. Quality Longbowmen. Yes, my liege. To take this army over and replenish them. Yeah. We do have that. Let's bring you over here. Then we're gonna keep marching you forward. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my king. Ready to serve. Okay, we're gonna wait one turn to see if they fight. Okay, he's attacking us. He's attacking us in the castle, which is a better situation than otherwise. He has some Curse of Shadows, which is unfortunate. And he has some Whirlwind. But we'll test this out. Hopefully we are in a better position with our Curse of Shadows, with uh, the fact that we're fighting in a stronghold. And we gain these two Crusaders. Which are like the garrison units. Archers, mm, not with the Crusaders, archers. just Archers, okay. Then we have Infantry. you, Infantry. second unit, Cavalry. this will be fourth unit and this will be the third, archers. Cavalry. Knights. okay. Infantry. Infantry. So how do we do this? I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna bring these guys forward, right, I want to bring them in here, Archers. I will have the Saxon Riders go, where, here, I think that could be a good idea, Archers. we're bringing archers forward, I don't know, here. Infantry. Then we'll bring the next troops. Infantry. 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 And keep these guys here. Okay, let's bring that cavalry on that side. These guys forward. Ok, 
Okay. That's the archers over here, this infantry over on this side. I feel like it, the right unit is not the leader of the army. Okay, we definitely want to cast our spells on those guys. Ah, okay, so they're bringing some of their cavalry. Maybe I'll bring you here. Try to get these guys around here. And the heavy units over here. Like so. Okay. They're getting very close here, so I have my spell prepared. Because what we need to have happen is that we destroy they're archers. There we have it. Spell number one. It has to hurt and it has to hurt a lot. Okay. It's apparent that he cast his spell, so we're gonna move out. Let's say heal on these guys. some of them behind okay we're doing another shadow spell here forward I will bring the archers forward as well we're gonna start shooting at his troops uh, they've done a blast there which killed a lot of our troops yeah I mean things are starting to look very differently now with all the spells and everything going on some protection from magic here. Okay, so our archers are at least strong. I wonder if I should cast one of these spells here. I mean our troops will be affected as well, but I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna heal you. I'm gonna start shooting at you there. Okay, 
Well, that worked. Not the best of battles, we lost some units. Or some soldiers from the units, but... Oof. It's really something that we will have to work towards. And keep fighting against these armies. Yes, my lord. Okay. This army is ready. So what I am going to do is that I am going to march them against his troops. We're going to do this first because they don't have a lot of archers. They don't seem to be wanting to fight each other here. So let's get this battle going. River, forest, plains and hills. Three rivers. We'll start. We'll do that. Don't remember doing it, so... What do we have here? So this one is just a village to regenerate our stamina. This one grants lightning spell. This one increases the cost of spell, so we don't want it. More food at the end of the battle, that is something I do want. And the sheet tower, which I don't. Okay. We have the Knights of Elaine. Tough units. I should probably assign a general to them be honest. Then we will have our archers going forward. The heavy infantry together with the royal guards. Second. And third there will be these light troops. Okay. Good. Well, let's go forward. Let's go here. I'll take you this way. And with these troops, we're gonna go all the way to the mill. Okay. We do have some Curse of Shadows and some Lightning. Lightning would be a lot better against this unit. It's gonna give us... It's gonna pay us back, basically. I know of it, Infantry. but that is going to be fine. Infantry. Infantry. Saxon Rider, Saxon Rider. gonna put them in wedge formation and we're gonna cross the river uh, yeah with that he's gonna cast this spell Arches. okay let's see hey you're not close enough to lightning are you close enough to do Sh Curse of Shadows? Yes. But he only has one bow unit. Making a bit difficult to justify a lightning spell. Or any of the spells for that matter. You know what, let's take the Crusader over here. Let's see, where did he cast it? Cavalry, cavalry. Over here on the Saxon Riders. Archers. Fire. Fire. Yeah, there we have it. Fire. Infantry. Infantry. Knights. Does he have any other troops? No. I guess I'm gonna take them in the forest for now. Till I can capture it. Mm. Bad positioning. Though I think it was better that it was cast on the archers. For some reason they really resisted the effect. Infantry. Infantry. 
to where I don't think that the other units would have done this well. But anyway, let's go forward. If we're lucky, we don't even need to do too much here. Let's see. Okay, what do we have here? Saxon Riders, Saxon Riders. And some of their troops. Lightning, I can't cast this far, but... Oh, Curse of Shadows right here. And we'll fire upon this cavalry like so. gonna retreat and especially these two royal guards will have to march through them now let's see lightning right there perfect 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 so these guys will be engaged I'm gonna retreat, I'm gonna take this spear unit and we'll go on that side. Dragon's Eye and we're gonna fire over on them here. Okay, some good volleys there. I think I am going to take our horses at the risk of losing some of them. Okay. With you, target hero loses 40 mana, we can do some of these. Now he won't have the power to cast any spell. I'm gonna do a bit of cleave. That lightning spell is still a bit of a problem. We're gonna keep firing upon these guys. So he did a blast there. Once again, the blast hurts a lot, but hurts his own troops as well. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it almost took out our royal guards. We're gonna try to march them out of here. Let's try to... Maybe encounter these units. Pretty much done here. Let's fire upon them on this side. Let's fire upon them. Let's see, do we have anything else on in our power to stop them? Maybe stop them from killing this rural guard? Doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, we're gonna run over here. Only five troops on this side. I just want to engage them using our own cavalry. Let me orient the. Okay. These guys are losing, so let's try to get them out. Shoot at him like so. I will be 
checking these guys out as well from the battle. Ooh. I really thought I would be able to do another battle here, but man, they're making it tough for me. Okay, well, what else are we going to do? These are light troops. We've almost got those. Okay, let's shoot at them there. And after which we are going to retreat these units. I am going to continue firing with our archers at them. Okay. Anything else? So these are, are not engaged. These are not engaged. Maybe I should get up here. We captured his hero. Whew, another tough battle. But we're victorious. A blessed armor. Plus one to the armor of faith. Okay. Yes, so my we've lord. done that, yes, my lord. we can take this region and then we'll capture way. this region and then we're gonna move over here doing this battle. Or, unfortunately for us it will probably expose us to all these Sangreal Knights with all their blasting abilities, I think I might sacrifice some light troops. Right, like some these crusaders, if they will still be alive with their blasts. But yeah, this will be a tough battle here because these haven't really fought against each other. And then we'll still we still have these guys. It's going to be a bit tough going forward, but we're gonna try to finish this That's wars in the north. I guess I On could also way. combine these troops. So let's see, do we have a viable army? Well, we have plenty of archers. I can throw the, the ones that need replenishing back in the castle. Right, we have four full archer units. We have two who skulls. We have like champions. But maybe instead of champions, we could bring the Saxon Riders. We have another break shield. We don't really have infantry here. Maybe I will replace this with this. Right, and have just champions. Maybe we'll just have horses, right? Horses together with champion, like heavy horses, with archers, with a few huskarls and break shields. I mean, at the end of the day, this might be enough of an army to attack this guy. Maybe even capture this. Yes, my liege. Not so much for this army, though. Maybe. Yes, my lord. We will have to see going in the next episode. Until then, I hope you have enjoyed it and I thank you very much for watching. And I wish you all to have a wonderful day.